What's up everyone, Drew here. We're going to be showing you guys on how to jailbreak iOS 5.1.1 untethered using Red Snow. Now this is just like Absinthe, but this is a lot stabler than Absinthe if you guys want to rely on Red Snow. So this should work with all devices, your iPhone 4, your iPhone 4S, your iPad 1, 2, and 3, iPod Touch 3, and iPod Touch 4G. That does work on iOS 5.1.1. So what you want to do is come to redsnow.com. I will have a link down below in the video description for you guys. The uh, dev team is blogging. What you want to do is just come to here and download Red Snow for Mac or Windows. So this will work for Mac or Windows, which is excellent. And after you have downloaded it from the dev team's blog, you definitely want to save it to your desktop. And I will have all links down below in the video description for you guys. But before we go ahead and begin the jailbreak, I do want to show you guys that I am on iOS 5.1.1. This is my iPhone 4. So let's open up settings. Let's go into general. Let's go into about. Scroll down. And right there it is version 5.1.1. So we are on the latest version on our iPhone 4. So now what you want to do is go ahead and plug in your iPhone 4 or whatever your device you're wanting to jailbreak today. And there we go. So now let's open up Red Snow. If iTunes or anything like that opens up like it is right now, you want to make sure you guys close out of that. Then here it is. Here it says, Welcome to Red Snow. This is the latest version of Red Snow. So this is a very simple jailbreak, guys. It's a one-click jailbreak. You don't have to put your device into DFU mode like you did in the past with the regular jailbreaks of Red Snow. So all you have to do is just click jailbreak and then watch the magic happen on your device. In 3, 2, 1, jailbreak. Restoring in progress, that's excellent. That means the jailbreak went pretty nicely and it's working very good as well. And there we go, jailbreak success. Go ahead and press OK. We should have Cydia downloading right now. And there we go, we should have Cydia installed on our device. So let's go ahead and unlock our device. Slide to unlock. Scroll on over, give it a few seconds to actually refresh, and we should see it. And there is Cydia just popped up, so let's click on it. It might restart your device. If it does, that's okay. That's good. Slide to unlock. Scroll on over once again, click on Cydia. Now it's going to go ahead and download all the file systems and whatnot. All right, after your device has respring from Cydia, let's slide to unlock. Scroll on over to the next page, click on Cydia once again. Now it's gonna ask us, who are you? Just click on user, press done, and then let everything refresh, and then you should have Cydia on iOS 5.1.1 untethered. Scroll on down, and right there it is, iPhone 4, iOS 5.1.1. So now what I'm gonna do is actually turn off my device and then turn it back on. That way so you guys do believe me that this is untethered. So it slides power off. And we should have a untethered jailbreak. Let's power it back on. And let's see what happens. And there we go. We should have an untethered jailbreak once again. Just like that, guys. Very simple and very easy to do. So there you guys go. Thanks a lot for watching. Go to make sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Drop all of your comments down below. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more up-to-date news. All those links are down below in the video description. Until next video, guys, we'll see you guys in the next one.